B1 Preliminary for Schools Trainer 1, published by Cambridge University Press and Uckles, 2019. This recording is copyright. Practice test three. There are four parts to the test. You will hear each piece twice. For each part of the test, there will be time for you to look through the questions and time for you to check your answers. Listening part one. Questions one to seven. Now we are ready to start. For each question, choose the correct answer. One. Which was the girl's favourite film? 2. I watched three really different films this weekend. The first, called Heart, was a romantic film set in New York. It was pretty entertaining, but I couldn't help thinking I'd seen it all before. The next one I watched was called Run, and it was an adventure film. I started watching it again as soon as it had finished, even though I knew what was going to happen the second time around. Finally, I watched The Dark, a horror film that I found about as scary as a kid's cartoon. Now listen again. I watched three really different films this weekend. The first, called Heart, was a romantic film set in New York. It was pretty entertaining, but I couldn't help thinking I'd seen it all before. The next one I watched was called Run, and it was an adventure film. I started watching it again as soon as it had finished, even though I knew what was going to happen the second time around. Finally, I watched The Dark a horror film that I found about as scary as a kid's cartoon. Two, what did the boy see at the transport museum? How was your trip to the transport museum? It was good, thanks. Although the special exhibition we'd gone there to see about aeroplanes was closed. There was a problem with the lights, I think. There are so many other things to see there, though. That's true. I'd never noticed how old some of the cars were before. And some of the trains, too. I spent ages looking at them when I went. Yes, I like them, too, although we didn't get to that part of the museum this time. Now listen again. How was your trip to the transport museum? It was good, thanks. Although the special exhibition we'd gone there to see about aeroplanes was closed. There was a problem with the lights, I think. There are so many other things to see there, though. That's true. I'd never noticed how old some of the cars were before. And some of the trains, too. I spent ages looking at them when I went. Yes, I like them, too. Although we didn't get to that part of the museum this time. Three. Where does the girl hope her family will go on holiday? Are you going away with your family this summer? Yes, but we still haven't decided where yet. My brothers suggested going to the ocean rather than the mountains this year, and I'd prefer to do that too. I love where we usually go. There's a beautiful lake and things, but we've been there quite a few times now. My parents keep talking about going to a big city somewhere. There'd be lots to do there, but I'm not sure it'd be very relaxing. No, probably not. Now listen again. Are you going away with your family this summer? Yes, but we still haven't decided where yet. 
My brothers suggested going to the ocean rather than the mountains this year, and I'd prefer to do that too. I love where we usually go. There's a beautiful lake and things, but we've been there quite a few times now. My parents keep talking about going to a big city somewhere. There'd be lots to do there, but I'm not sure it'd be very relaxing. No, probably not. Four. What did the girl lose at the show? Did you go to the show last night? I did. It was great, and they played all their best songs. There were so many people there, and we were all dancing together. I was sure my hat was going to fall off, and I wouldn't be able to get it back. I ended up putting it in my bag. I had to hold on to that too, but it still didn't stop my hairbrush falling out. I had a look for it afterwards, but couldn't find it anywhere. Oh no! Now listen again. Did you go to the show last night? I did. It was great, and they played all their best songs. There were so many people there, and we were all dancing together. I was sure my hat was going to fall off, and I wouldn't be able to get it back. I ended up putting it in my bag. I had to hold on to that too, but it still didn't stop my hairbrush falling out. I had a look for it afterwards, but couldn't find it anywhere. Oh no! Five. Which appointment did the boy have today? Hi. How did your appointment go? Yeah, fine. They didn't need to do anything. Great. So your eyes are all okay then? The sight test is next week, actually, Mum. I was having my teeth checked today. Oh yes, of course. Your dad made the appointments this time, so I couldn't remember who you were seeing first. He should be back from the doctor's any minute. So are you making the dinner tonight, then? I am, and it's your favourite spaghetti. Great. Now listen again. Hi. How did your appointment go? Yeah, fine. They didn't need to do anything. Great. So your eyes are all okay then? The sight test is next week, actually, Mum. I was having my teeth checked today. Oh yes, of course. Your dad made the appointments this time, so I couldn't remember who you were seeing first. He should be back from the doctor's any minute. So are you making the dinner tonight, then? I am, and it's your favourite spaghetti. Great. Six. Which book can the girl collect today? This is a message for Annabelle. It's Barker's Bookshop calling. You ordered some books from us last week. One of them's come in, but the other two won't be in until Thursday, I'm afraid. The one called. Make your own fashion is taking longer than we expected, and I think we told you that Saving Tigers is quite an old book, so is harder to find. It's up to you whether you want to get the history of Sandham Castle now, or wait until the others come in. Okay, bye. Now listen again. This is a message for Annabelle. It's Barker's Bookshop calling. You ordered some books from us last week. One of them's come in, but the other two won't be in until Thursday, I'm afraid. The one called "Make Your Own Fashion" is taking longer than we expected, and I think we told you that Saving Tigers is quite an old book, so is harder to find. It's up to you whether you want to get the history of Sandham Castle now, or wait until the others come in. Okay, bye. Seven. Which sport is the boy going to try?
Do you still play basketball? I do, but I'm ready for a change. I've always fancied trying golf, but there isn't really anywhere near here where you can play. So that's why I've decided on ice hockey instead. They're looking for players at my rugby club. Why don't you come for practice there one day? I mean, you love watching it. I do, but it always seems pretty dangerous to me. And you don't really wear anything to protect you, do you? Not really, no. That's why it's so good. Now listen again. Do you still play basketball? I do, but I'm ready for a change. I've always fancied trying golf, but there isn't really anywhere near here where you can play. So that's why I've decided on ice hockey instead. They're looking for players at my rugby club. Why don't you come for practice there one day? I mean, you love watching it. I do, but it always seems pretty dangerous to me. And you don't really wear anything to protect you, do you? Not really, no. That's why it's so good. That is the end of part one. Practice test three, listening part two, questions eight to thirteen. For each question, choose the correct answer. Eight. You will hear two friends talking about a play. Hey, what happened to you? You just disappeared from the theatre yesterday. Um. Well, I did tell the teacher I wanted to leave. What was wrong? I didn't think the play was that terrible. It was nothing to do with that. You know what it's like when you get toothache, though. You can't concentrate on anything. The teacher phoned my mum, who contacted the dentist, but they couldn't see me yesterday, even though it was a bit of an emergency. So I had to go this morning. It seems you'll do anything to avoid going to the theatre. Now listen again. Hey, what happened to you? You just disappeared from the theatre yesterday. Um. Well. I did tell the teacher I wanted to leave. What was wrong? I didn't think the play was that terrible. It was nothing to do with that. You know what it's like when you get toothache, though. You can't concentrate on anything. The teacher phoned my mum, who contacted the dentist, but they couldn't see me yesterday, even though it was a bit of an emergency. So I had to go this morning. It seems you'll do anything to avoid going to the theatre. <laughs> Nine. You will hear two friends talking about the food at a school party. The party was fun, wasn't it? It was. It was a bit of a shame that everyone was told to bring anything they wanted rather than making a list of who should bring what. Yes, it certainly meant that lots of people brought the same thing. Not having lots of stuff to choose from doesn't bother me as long as you like what's there, which I did. Me too. I didn't see anyone eating what I brought, apart from us, of course. No, but that meant there was more for us. True. Now listen again. The party was fun, wasn't it? It was. It was a bit of a shame that everyone was told to bring anything they wanted rather than making a list of who should bring what. Yes, it certainly meant that lots of people brought the same thing. Not having lots of stuff to choose from doesn't bother me as long as you like what's there, which I did. Me too. I didn't see anyone eating what I brought, apart from us, of course. No, but that meant there was more for us. True. Ten. You will hear two friends talking about a soccer match they both watched on TV. Did you see the soccer match last night? Sure did. And although I can't say I was unhappy at the result, it wasn't the most interesting game I've ever seen. They've played better. I agree. But I didn't think they did that badly. Especially that guy you really like. He did well, but he was the only one who did. Imagine if he got injured and couldn't play for a few weeks. They'd lose every game. 
Let's hope that never happens. Anyway, I thought it was a pretty entertaining game. I've seen our school team play more interesting soccer. Now listen again. Did you see the soccer match last night? Sure did, and although I can't say I was unhappy at the result, it wasn't the most interesting game I've ever seen. They've played better, I agree, but I didn't think they did that badly, especially that guy you really like. He did well, but he was the only one who did. Imagine if he got injured and couldn't play for a few weeks. They'd lose every game. Let's hope that never happens. Anyway, I thought it was a pretty entertaining game. I've seen our school team play more interesting soccer. Eleven. You will hear two friends talking about a new science building at their school. Have you been in the new science building yet? I had a class in there this morning. It's a shame they've used all the stuff for experiments from the old building. Yes, it'd be nice to have new things like that as well as a new building. What do you think of it inside? The colours are nice, and those paintings make it look really modern. I don't think we share the same taste in colours and paintings, but I'm really impressed with the design of the outside. I can't think of a building I like the look of more. Now listen again. Have you been in the new science building yet? I had a class in there this morning. It's a shame they've used all the stuff for experiments from the old building. Yes, it'd be nice to have new things like that as well as a new building. What do you think of it inside? The colours are nice and those paintings make it look really modern. I don't think we share the same taste in colours and paintings, but I'm really impressed with the design of the outside. I can't think of a building I like the look of more. Twelve. You will hear a girl talking about a blog she has started writing. Have you started your blog yet? I've already written five entries and have had nice comments from some readers. That really makes it seem like it was worth doing, despite all the issues I had when I was getting it ready. The website I used said it was easy to create a blog, and maybe it is for someone who's a bit more familiar with IT than I am. Have you put pictures in too? A few. I think I need more though, to get it looking as good as some of the other blogs I've seen. Now listen again. Have you started your blog yet? I've already written five entries and have had nice comments from some readers. That really makes it seem like it was worth doing, despite all the issues I had when I was getting it ready. The website I used said it was easy to create a blog, and maybe it is for someone who's a bit more familiar with IT than I am. Have you put pictures in too? A few. I think I need more, though, to get it looking as good as some of the other blogs I've seen. Thirteen. You will hear a girl telling her friend about learning Chinese. Are you still enjoying your Chinese lessons? I am, but we always focus on reading and writing. I know they're important, but I want to learn other skills too. There's loads of stuff online for improving reading and writing, but less for speaking, I guess. It's the same problem with course books. They're good for exercises on grammar and things, but you obviously can't talk to a book. No. But lots of people learn Chinese these days, so there must be groups that meet just to practice talking to each other. Why not search for one of those? Hmm, maybe. Now listen again. Are you still enjoying your Chinese lessons? I am, but we always focus on reading and writing. I know they're important, but I want to learn other skills too. 
There's loads of stuff online for improving reading and writing, but less for speaking, I guess. It's the same problem with course books. They're good for exercises on grammar and things, but you obviously can't talk to a book. No. But lots of people learn Chinese these days, so there must be groups that meet just to practice talking to each other. Why not search for one of those? Hmm, maybe. That is the end of part two. Practice test three, listening part three, questions 14 to 19. For each question, write the correct answer in the gap. Write one or two words or a number or a date or a time. You have 20 seconds to look at part three. You will hear a student giving some information to his class about an acting club he's a member of. Hello everyone. I'd like to tell you about this wonderful acting club I joined recently. The best thing about it is the teacher. We're really lucky to have someone who's actually quite famous. Her name's Alice Fisher and she's appearing in a play at the big theatre in town at the moment. She plays a policewoman in that but you'll probably know her better as the farmer in the series Green Valley that was on last year. She's worked as a professional theatre actor for about 10 years, as well as having three years experience of appearing in serious drama. She's also spent seven years working in comedy productions, so she has lots of different talents. The sessions are always fun and are split into two sections. In the first part, Rather than practicing anything to do with movement of the body, we focus instead on improving how to control the voice as an actor. In the second part, we practice our performance skills. If you're interested in coming to the drama club, you'll need to know where to come, of course. The club actually hires a room from the university to run the classes. It's much cheaper to do it there than at the college or the acting school. The sessions are on Wednesday evenings. At the moment, we're practicing for a play, which will be on at the Town Theatre soon. Its name is The Passenger, and we're hoping that this latest one will be as popular as the last production the club did, which was called Reality. It was a big success, apparently. We've got our last practice for the new play on the 13th of July, with audiences able to come and see it from the 20th of July for one week. Thanks for listening. Now listen again. Hello everyone. I'd like to tell you about this wonderful acting club I joined recently. The best thing about it is the teacher. We're really lucky to have someone who's actually quite famous. Her name's Alice Fisher and she's appearing in a play at the big theatre in town at the moment. She plays a policewoman in that, but you'll probably know her better as the farmer in the series Green Valley that was on last year. She's worked as a professional theatre actor for about 10 years, as well as having three years experience of appearing in serious drama. She's also spent seven years working in comedy productions, so she has lots of different talents. The sessions are always fun and are split into two sections. In the first part, rather than practicing anything to do with movement of the body, we focus instead on improving how to control the voice as an actor. In the second part, we practice our performance skills. If you're interested in coming to the drama club, you'll need to know where to come, of course. The club actually hires a room from the university to run the classes. It's much cheaper to do it there than at the college or the acting school. The sessions are on Wednesday evenings. At the moment, we're practicing for a play which will be on at the Town Theatre soon. Its name is The Passenger, and we're hoping that this latest one will be as popular as the last production the club did, which was called Reality. It was a big success, apparently. We've got our last practice for the new play on the 13th of July, 
with audiences able to come and see it from the 20th of July for one week. Thanks for listening. That is the end of part three. Practice test three, listening part four, questions 20 to 25. For each question, choose the correct answer. You have 45 seconds to look at the questions for part four. You will hear an interview with a girl called Jasmine, talking about her experiences of flying a plane. Jasmine, you recently went on a flying experience day and actually flew a plane with the help of a qualified instructor. What made you decide to do this? A friend of mine tried it a while ago. Even though she wasn't especially positive about it, as she'd been quite frightened, she told me she'd noticed her house while she was up there. That made me want to look for mine too, and also enjoy a different view of the local countryside. It wasn't like I wanted to fly planes professionally or anything. How did you feel at the beginning of the day? When I saw the aeroplane we'd be using, I couldn't believe that something that size could actually take off with two people in it. The organisation of everything was so efficient, though, that I'd soon forgotten about any doubts I'd had. I'd watched some online videos and flying looked quite easy, so I was confident I could do that well. What training did you do before you got in the plane? We had a session on safety, which needed to be a bit shorter in my opinion, and one on what the different controls do, which I enjoyed. While what we were told was all essential, I don't think the people running the sessions were actually trained teachers, so they didn't really communicate the information very clearly. And how was your flying instructor? She was brilliant. I'd always imagined that flying instructors would be really cool and quiet people. Yana was like that before we took off, but quite different in the air. She never stopped chatting and making me laugh by saying funny things. She said afterwards she does it to help people to relax. And what about the flight? It was amazing. One of the most exciting things I've ever done, although I was kind of expecting that. When we landed, it felt like we'd been up there for hours, although it was only about 30 minutes in reality. In some of the reviews on the website, people said they were exhausted afterwards, but I was just the opposite. So has this made you want to try other experience days? Definitely, yes. I had a look at the company's brochure and there were loads I'd like to try. I've never been horse riding, so that's something I wouldn't mind doing. First on my list, though, would have to be driving a sports car, and after that would come deep-sea fishing. Thanks, Jasmine. Now listen again. Jasmine, you recently went on a flying experience day and actually flew a plane with the help of a qualified instructor. What made you decide to do this? A friend of mine tried it a while ago. Even though she wasn't especially positive about it, as she'd been quite frightened, she told me she'd noticed her house while she was up there. That made me want to look for mine too, and also enjoy a different view of the local countryside. It wasn't like I wanted to fly planes professionally or anything. How did you feel at the beginning of the day? When I saw the aeroplane we'd be using, I couldn't believe that something that size could actually take off with two people in it. The organisation of everything was so efficient, though, that I'd soon forgotten about any doubts I'd had. I'd watched some online videos and flying looked quite easy, so I was confident I could do that well. What training did you do before you got in the plane? We had a session on safety, which needed to be a bit shorter, in my opinion, and one on what the different controls do, which I enjoyed. 
While what we were told was all essential, I don't think the people running the sessions were actually trained teachers, so they didn't really communicate the information very clearly. And how was your flying instructor? She was brilliant. I'd always imagined that flying instructors would be really cool and quiet people. Jana was like that before we took off, but quite different in the air. She never stopped chatting and making me laugh by saying funny things. She said afterwards she does it to help people to relax. And what about the flight? It was amazing. One of the most exciting things I've ever done, although I was kind of expecting that. When we landed, it felt like we'd been up there for hours, although it was only about 30 minutes in reality. In some of the reviews on the website, people said they were exhausted afterwards, but I was just the opposite. So has this made you want to try other experience days? Definitely, yes. I had a look at the company's brochure and there were loads I'd like to try. I've never been horse riding, so that's something I wouldn't mind doing. First on my list, though, would have to be driving a sports car, and after that would come deep-sea fishing. Thanks, Jasmine. That is the end of part four. You now have six minutes to check and copy your answers onto the answer sheet.
You have one more minute. That is the end of the test.